the seared corpse of an Iconian soldier smacked against the viewscreen with a wet slap. Dead eyes stared into space, the body frozen solid, a grim trophy from a freshly wrecked ship. Fighter pilot Will Robinson gaped at the gruesome sight. His first cruise with the Earth Defense Force just took a deadly serious turn. Moments ago, his captain revealed an urgent distress call. The powerful Iconian Empire begged for human help against an unknown enemy. Political games, Emperor Primus despised Earth's rising power. Now twisted hunks of Iconian ships tumbled by, scorched, blasted, mangled. Something fierce decimated the outposts. The Repulse's scanners flared with signatures, battlefields littered with dead. A vast enemy force prowled the fringe, violent, brutal, merciless. Will swallowed hard. At twenty-four, this wasn't the milk run he expected. Earth just stepped into the galactic crosshairs. One wrong move, and they'd be next on the chopping block. All hands prepare for warp, Captain Jackson barked. Let's see what these bastards are made of. Will strapped in, stomach churning. The war Earth tried to avoid just became unavoidable. Humanity gave one warning to the bloodthirsty Iconian Empire, and now the humans were coming, to fight or to die. The EDS Repulse and its fleet raced towards the Iconian border, engines humming with urgency. In the hangar bay, Will and his fellow pilots ran endless combat drills. They blasted holographic enemies, dodged simulated fire, and perfected evasive maneuvers until their muscles ached. During a rare break, Will's wingman, Jake Maverick Torres, waved him over to a console. Check this out, Maverick said, pointing at some strange energy readings. See that signature? Matches no known Iconian or human tech. Will studied the unfamiliar wavelengths. Maverick was right. The data the Iconians shared was missing critical intel. He looked up with a frown. Stealth systems? And some sort of disabling weapon? Why wouldn't the Iconians tell us that? Guess they forgot to mention it. Maverick crossed his arms, jaw tight. We need to tell the captain now. Will's voice was firm. Minutes later, they stood in the briefing room as Captain Jackson glowered at a viewscreen filled with Earth's top brass. The Iconians are playing us, Jackson slammed a fist on the console. They want our help, but won't give us the full picture. Admiral Nguyen leaned forward, her expression grave. This changes things. If we can't trust our allies... We should pull out, General Pearson cut in. It's too risky. We committed to this fight, countered President Xiang. If we abandon them now, it sends the wrong message. But we proceed carefully, focus on recon before engagement. Jackson gave a curt nod. Understood, will a proximity alert blared. Iconian ships approaching, I'll update you later. The screen went dark. The repulse dropped out of warp near the border. A trio of sleek Iconian warships waited, weapons hot. Will tensed as a haughty face appeared on the viewscreen. Admiral Zoran. Captain Jackson, Zoran drawled, I see you brought reinforcements, though I question if your fleet is truly prepared for what lies ahead. We're here to help, as promised, Jackson replied coolly. Bold words from an upstart race. This is not your fight. Leave it to the mighty Iconian Armada. Zoran lifted his chin with a sneer. Jackson clasped his hands behind his back. Earth stands by its commitments, Admiral. We'll face this threat together, whether you like it or not. Very well, on your own head be it. Zoran cut the transmission. The human and Iconian ships fell into formation, speeding toward the coordinates of the last attack. Will checked his rifle and glanced at Maverick. The same grim determination etched both their faces. Whatever nightmares awaited them in the void, they would meet them head on. For Earth, for the galaxy. But as they hurtled into the unknown, a cold dread crept up Will's spine. The Iconians were still hiding something, something that could get them all killed. He just hoped they'd figure it out before it was too late. The Repulse and its fleet pushed further into the war-torn region, sensors on high alert. Will gripped the arms of his chair as a field of destruction filled the viewscreen. Shattered hulls and twisted girders hung motionless against the stars. 
an Iconian outpost, now nothing more than a cosmic graveyard. Captain Jackson leaned forward, eyes narrowed. Robinson Torres, suit up. I want a closer look at that wreckage. Hi, sir, Will replied, already on his feet. Minutes later, he and Maverick guided their fighters through the debris, weaving past jagged spires of metal. The remains of Iconian ships drifted by, scorched and lifeless. I got a bad feeling about this, Maverick muttered over the comm. Stay sharp, Will said. There. He pointed to a crippled Iconian frigate, its hull breached in a dozen places. They docked and cycled through the airlock, rifles at the ready. The corridors were dark, the air stale. Iconian corpses floated in the zero-G, faces frozen in terror. Oh, Jesus, Maverick whispered. What the hell did this? Will swallowed hard. Come on, let's find that data core. They made their way to the ship's computer hub. Will pried open a damaged console and extracted a glowing data chip. Got it. Let's get out of here. Back on the repulse, Captain Jackson plugged the chip into the mainframe. The bridge crew watched in tense silence as a hologram flickered to life. An Iconian scientist, her face drawn and haggard. If you're seeing this, she began, then our worst fears have come to pass. The overseers have returned. Will frowned. Overseers? The scientist continued. Centuries ago we created them as the ultimate weapon, machines that could adapt to any foe, with technology beyond imagining, but they turned on us, seeking to purge the galaxy of all organic life. Captain Jackson clenched his jaw. And Primus knew about this? He's been searching for a way to stop them, the hologram said, but he feared that if the truth got out our allies would abandon us. The transmission cut out. For a moment no one spoke. Then Admiral Zoran's face appeared on the view screen. Captain Jackson, what have you... Cut the crap, Zoran, Jackson snapped. We know about the overseers. You've been lying to us from the start. Zoran's eyes widened. You don't understand. We had no choice. If the overseers aren't stopped... A klaxon blared. Multiple contacts, Lieutenant Chen shouted. They just appeared out of nowhere. The view screen filled with a swarm of angular obsidian ships, overseer vessels bristling with weapons. Battle stations, Captain Jackson barked. All fighters launch immediately. Will and Maverick sprinted for the hangar bay, hearts pounding. They leapt into their cockpits and rocketed into space, joining the Iconian ships in a desperate charge. The overseers opened fire, lancing beams of searing light. Human and Iconian hulls buckled and burst under the onslaught. Will jinked and rolled, trying to evade the deadly blasts. Their weapons are tearing us apart, Maverick yelled. Keep fighting! Will gritted his teeth and fired a volley of missiles. They impacted an overseer ship, but the damage was minimal. The repulse shuddered as a beam sliced across its bow. Consoles exploded on the bridge, showering the crew with sparks. Captain Jackson held tight to his chair. Concentrate fire on their lead ship. But even as the human and Iconian fleet poured everything they had into the Overseer flagship, Will knew it was a losing battle. The enemy's technology was just too advanced, their ships too resilient. And yet, as he watched another friendly vessel erupt into flames, Will felt a surge of determination. They might be outmatched, but they would go down fighting. For Earth, for the Iconians, for every living being in the galaxy. He aimed his fighter at the nearest overseer and gunned the thrusters, ready to make a final defiant stand against the darkness. Will's heart raced as he watched the Iconian ships burst into flames, the crews inside screaming in terror before being silenced by the vacuum of space. The overseers showed no mercy, their weapons tearing through the hulls like they were made of paper. The repulse swerved to avoid a chunk of debris, but an explosion suddenly rocked the ship, sending Will flying from his seat. Alarms blared as he pulled himself up, his head pounding. Captain Jackson's voice crackled over the comm, strained but determined. We've taken heavy damage to the engines and weapon systems. We need to buy time for the fleet to regroup. Robinson, Torres... I need you to lead a strike team against the Overseer command ship. 
take out their shields so we can hit them where it hurts. Will and Maverick exchanged a glance, nodding in unison. I, Captain, will get it done. They sprinted to the hangar bay, jumping into their fighters. Will's hands shook as he gripped the controls, but he pushed down the fear. He had a job to do. The fighters launched, forming up and diving into the fray. Laser fire crisscrossed around them. The overseers advanced targeting systems, making it nearly impossible to evade. Will gritted his teeth, rolling and weaving through the chaos. Watch your six, Maverick, he shouted as an overseer fighter swooped in behind his wingman. Maverick juked hard to the right, barely avoiding a burst of plasma. Thanks for the heads up, Will, I owe you one. They fought their way towards the command ship, its massive bulk looming ahead. Will scanned the hull, searching for any weakness. There, the shield generator nestled in a vulnerable spot near the aft section. Maverick, keep these fighters off me. I'm going in for the generator. Roger that. Give them hell, Will. Will pushed his thrusters to the max, dodging and spinning as the overseers tried to lock on. He could feel the G-forces crushing him into his seat, but he didn't let up. With a final burst of speed, he lined up the shot and fired, his lasers hitting the generator dead center. The shields flickered and died, exposing the command ship's hull. Will let out a triumphant whoop. Captain, the shields are down. Now's our chance. All ships, concentrate fire on the command vessel, Captain Jackson barked. The repulse shuddered as it launched a volley of quantum torpedoes, the glowing projectiles streaking towards the overseer ship. They slammed into the hull, exploding in a brilliant flash of light. The command ship listed to the side, flames erupting from the gaping wounds. Admiral Zoran's flagship, the Imperian, surged forward, its weapons primed for the killing blow. But as Will watched, his heart sank. The command ship's hull began to knit itself back together, the metal flowing like liquid to seal the breaches. The shields snapped back into place stronger than ever, and... And then, like a nightmare come to life, a swarm of smaller overseer ships poured out of the command vessel, each one bristling with firepower. They fell upon the human and Iconian ships like wolves on wounded prey, tearing them apart with ruthless efficiency. The tide had turned once more, and not in their favour. Will heard Captain Jackson shouting orders, his voice barely audible over the chaos. The repulse shook violently, consoles exploding and crew members screaming. Will's mind raced as he dodged and weaved through the maelstrom, trying to stay alive. There had to be a way to beat the overseers, some weakness they could exploit. And then it hit him, a desperate gamble, but it might just be their only hope. He opened a comm channel to the captain, his voice steady despite the fear gripping his heart. Sir, I have an idea, but it's risky. Captain, I have a plan, Will said, his voice steady over the comm. The Repulse has an experimental weapon, a singularity generator. If we can get it inside the Overseer command ship, we can create a miniature black hole that will tear it apart from the inside. Captain Jackson frowned, but the generator would have to be detonated manually. It's a suicide mission. I know, sir, and I'm volunteering to do it. Absolutely not, Jackson said. I'll go. The fleet needs you here, leading the charge. Will shook his head. With all due respect, Captain, the fleet needs your leadership more. I'm just a fighter pilot. Let me do this. There was a long pause. Finally, Jackson sighed. All right, Robinson, but you better come back in one piece, you hear me? Yes, sir, Will said, a grim smile on his face. He made his way to the hangar bay, where the singularity generator was being prepped. It was a small device, no bigger than a briefcase, but it held the power to create a force that could swallow stars. As he climbed into his fighter, Maverick's face appeared on his comm screen. Will, what the hell are you doing? What needs to be done, Will replied. Listen, Mav, I need you to lead the attack on the command ship. Keep those overseers busy while I sneak aboard. Maverick nodded his jaw tight. You got it, buddy. Just come back, all right? I'll do my best. Will launched from the hangar. Engaging his fighter's cloaking device, he raced towards the overseer command ship, weaving through the chaos of the battle.
explosions bloomed around him as Maverick and the other pilots engaged the enemy, drawing their fire. The command ship loomed ahead, its hull bristling with weapons. Will took a deep breath and punched through the shield barrier, skimming along the ship's surface until he found a maintenance hatch. He docked his fighter and clambered out. The singularity generator clutched tight to his chest. The corridors of the overseer ship were dark and cold, echoing with the hum of alien machinery. Will moved quickly, following the schematics he'd memorized. Finally, he reached the core, a pulsing mass of energy that powered the entire ship. Will set the generator down and began arming it, his fingers flying over the controls. Suddenly, a searing bolt of plasma scorched the wall beside his head. Will spun, his rifle up and firing. An overseer sentry stood in the doorway, its metal body gleaming in the dim light. Will threw himself to the side as another plasma bolt sizzled past. He rolled and came up shooting, his rounds sparking off the sentry's armor. The machine advanced, its movements fluid and relentless. A plasma bolt caught Will in the shoulder, spinning him around. He cried out in pain but kept firing, pouring everything he had into the sentry. Finally, a lucky shot found a weak spot in its neck joint, and the machine collapsed in a shower of sparks. Will staggered to his feet, his vision blurring. He could feel blood soaking his flight suit, but he pushed the pain aside. He had to finish the mission. He stumbled back to the generator, his hands shaking as he inputted the final sequence. The device hummed to life, a swirling vortex of darkness forming at its core. Will turned and ran, his legs pumping as he raced back to his fighter. He could feel the ship shuddering around him as the singularity grew, tearing it apart from the inside. He barely made it back to his fighter before the core imploded, the miniature black hole consuming everything in its path. Will gunned the engines and rocketed away, the shockwave from the explosion buffeting his small craft. As he escaped the dying command ship, Will saw the Overseer fleet faltering, their coordination gone. The human and Iconian ships pressed the attack, hope rising as they realized the tide had turned. But Will's elation was short-lived. As he tried to steer his fighter back to the repulse, he realized the extent of his injuries. Blood was pooling in his seat, and his vision was fading in and out. He managed to open a comm channel, his breath coming in ragged gasps. Maverick, tell the captain, I'm sorry. Will, Will, stay with me. Maverick's voice was desperate. We're coming to get you. But it was too late. Will's fighter drifted, powerless as the life bled out of him. He watched through dimming eyes as the repulse grew larger in his viewscreen, a final glimpse of home. And then, with a last rattling breath, Will Robinson, the hero who saved the galaxy, was gone. In the aftermath of the battle, as the shattered remnants of the fleet regrouped and tended to their wounded, Captain Jackson stood on the bridge of the repulse, his head bowed in grief. Admiral Zoran, his face lined with sorrow, placed a hand on the captain's shoulder. Your pilot's sacrifice will never be forgotten, he said. His bravery saved us all. Jackson nodded, unable to speak past the lump in his throat. The Iconians were wrong to hide the truth from you, Zoran continued. From now on there will be no more secrets between us. We will face this threat together, as allies and friends. As the repulse turned its battered hull towards Earth, Captain Jackson looked out at the stars, a glimmer of hope amidst the sorrow. The fight against the overseers was far from over, but thanks to Will Robinson, they had a chance. And as long as there were those willing to stand against the darkness, to sacrifice everything for the sake of others, that chance would never die. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.